How's my hair, folks? Don't matter. Long day in the water. Well, kind of. I went in a couple times. Not bad. A little bit windy, but nice and warm, as you can see. So I'm cooking outside, folks. I'm doing elk cookings outside, and that's it. I gotta get to it, otherwise I'll be starving. Unfortunately, Spielberger ran out of battery or something. No. And he couldn't finish it, so... It's your fault. It is what it is. Yes. You know? It happens. He's, he's stupid. Uh, I'm not yeah, stupid. Yeah, you are stupid. Stupid. Unbelievable. You're stupid. But, uh, yeah, now just enjoying the rest of the day. A little sun. And I may go out. I may go in again. I already went in one more time, but I might go in a few more times. I can go in as much as I want, folks. I don't pay to go back in the lake. It's it's free. I can just go in as many times as I want to. You know, I can go in at midnight if I want to. time over here uh, uh, so, sorry it's, it's it's a little bit hot you know it's getting warmer by the lake but well, one second I'll, I can fix that ah, there you go it's much better all right where was I oh it's uh, hot by the lake but it's also breakfast time so um, one second somebody wants to say hello uh, she, not really she was she was sleeping by my feet but Say hello. Say hi. Hi, everybody. She's saying, leave me alone, Louis. Look, Marina. Look, everybody over there. Look. She doesn't, she doesn't care, folks. But her tail is like, ooh, the lens. I love it. Spielberger. What? She's looking at Spielberger. She likes me better. Leave him alone. He's, yeah, he's, he stinks. He's stupid. <laughs> Hi, if you liked my videos, please click the bell so you can be notified and come back often because I have new videos every week. <laughs> Living El Lake. Yeehaw. It was nice being here. I had some friends over, uh, Kat and a few other friends. So thank you for coming over. I find myself having to go to Vegas because the other day I was, um, well, I wasn't doing it. Spielberger, I don't know why he didn't use his camera. Why didn't you use your camera? He doesn't know. He's stupid. Anyway, he, he borrowed my phone and I'm, I'm, I'm diving under the water and he's using my phone instead of using his cameras. And, and then my phone died. So I put it in rice for a few days, but it's still not responding. So I think Elfonski is dead. I still have another one, but the other one doesn't have service over here. So I have two, two phones, two carriers, so that I, when I don't have service with one, I have service with the other, and I can still do stuff online. And Spielberg can up, upload his videos, whatever he does. I don't know. I hope I don't get stuck here this year. Holy moly. This road is sandier than usual. Coming to a, a future episode on this channel, folks. The installation of a Dometic 2000 something something air conditioner. 12 volt air conditioner. That's right, folks. I decided I'm gonna... After long searching and trying to decide if and what 
uh, to use. I've decided to install, or to, to not install yet, but I'm, I already bought it. It's going to be delivered to my friend in Montana. Jerry, hopefully you don't take it and put it on, on some, some of your truck or something that you have, I don't know, your van. You know, try not to, try not, try not to open the box, Jerry. Just, just look at it and, and do nothing else. But uh, yeah, so that's coming up, folks. Right now, I gotta concentrate on this road so I don't get stuck and on my way to Vegas. Yeehaw! Folks, I got my phone, got it activated. This is why I came here to get it. I could have just uh, had it shipped to me, but then it has to be activated. And these new phones don't have a physical SIM. They only have a, an eSIM. So got it activated, got a screen protector, got a cover for it. So hopefully this pull burger won't drop it or put it in the water. Hey, excuse me, you can't go over there. I need to drive. I gotta use my feet. Hey, I'm talking to you over here. Yes, you. Let's go. You can't go there, because I need to drive. You understand drive? Look, now you're all dirty. Unbelievable, these kids. I was thinking of having the stuff um, that I need from Arizona Wind & Sun just shipped ahead to me, but the fastest way to where I'm going is through Flagstaff anyway. So I'm just gonna go there in person and get it. They close at three o'clock. Hopefully I'll have time today to pick it up. If not, I'll pick it up tomorrow, folks. It's no big deal. What's the rush? I don't have any rush. I do have a Whole Foods right here though, but I kinda like, you know, I have food, I have stuff. I don't really need to buy anything right now. And I don't feel like it. I don't have the patience to go shopping. So. The next light. Thank you, mommy. I'm Meldano, folks. Let's get out of Vegas. Holly Dila. Holly Dila. Then turn right. No, Holly Dila. Right. Holly Dila. Destination is on your left. Grand Canyon right. Harley Davidson. Then turn right onto West Ridge. So I got the part that I need. It's a one amp battery charger. Marina wants to know what's going on there. Can you, you want to smell it? She wants to inspect. Okay, it, it passed inspection. <laughs> so. Okay, I gotta put it in drive, folks. When you wanna go forward, you gotta put it in D. That goes, that's for drive. Anyway, unfortunately, this thing only works with 120 power. I need to get an inverter anyway, which I, I thought I was gonna have to, but I was delaying getting one. But I'll get an inverter, and then this way I can turn it on once in a while and let it maintain and charge the battery. I can feel the briskness of the air up here. Compared to where I was last night, it's pretty chilly. And up there, there's a mountain full of snow. And on the roadway on the I-40, there's snow on the side of the road. So it's pretty chilly, folks. It's gonna be freezing tonight, like 37. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you wanna do? You wanna go out? Katie does not go out. No, kitty does not go out, okay? Kitty does not need fuel. You got water, 
steak, eggs, cheese, salmon, coffee, and lots of chocolate, delicious chocolate. Meow, meow. Kitty, you cannot, you cannot go there. You just can't. You, you can't go there. Come on, move on. Come on, move. No, you can't be there. Come on, move. Skadoodle. That's my spot for the night. I'm only 20 minutes away from Northern Arizona wind and sun. So tomorrow I'll make it there real quick. And it's kind of chilly, folks. What a difference from this morning especially yesterday while I was at the lake. Now I feel like I should put the heat on. It's not chilly. We interrupt these high production moving pictures to bring you a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by kindness. That's right, folks. If you like to receive kindness, then be kind to others. Do unto others as you would like others to do unto you. So if you use a coupon code kindness, you can get 15% off a whole bunch of kindness. Just be kind. Waking up this morning to 28 degrees. Well, now it's 32 degrees. Even my voice. Yes, kitty. No. Even the kitty is like, I, I cool too. I cold. Can I come lay next to you? Oh, sure you can't come lay next to me. Yeah, no more lake outside. But it's nice, you know, it's nice to have a different view. It's nice to not always have the same, you know, same thing. This is why, you know, my home has wheels and you can move around. A lake is nice. I mean, 80... Five degrees, 90. I mean, it's it's getting a little bit too warm, but it's nice. You could just go in the lake and just dive in. And then over here, you know, there's no lake. And it's 28 this morning. <laughs> but now it's like 55. So it's warming up. And uh, I got to finish my coffee, co co coffee so, I can, so I can go. For some reason, this little hill feels steeper than the last time I was oh I forgot to lock my, my drawers darn it all right people come here and they trash the place up look at the beautiful mountain there with the snow on top right kitty I got a couple things that I needed I got short power device but I'm still missing something they don't. They For 46 didn't. miles, continue straight. <laughs> they didn't have, you know, the the thing that goes on the side of the camper that you plug into. Well, the the short power thing has a cord with a three prong thing that connects into that thing, but they didn't have that thing, and I need to get that thing. And I went over here to an RV store, and they didn't have the thing. So I need to get the thing, man, the thing. On my way now to Utah, near El Coloradsky, maybe make it to Colorado, and, uh, and then we'll go from there, folks. Where we end up, nobody knows, not even me. And just like that, folks, a few miles outside of Flagstaff, on 89 North, you get into Red Rock Country, folks. Yeehaw! traded my van for a snowblower. I mean, this, this, 
This thing is prime. It's beautiful. I'm going to set it up. I can trailblaze through the snow. I'm going to put a trailer behind it. I'm going to, you know, just live in here. Maybe I'll put a platform on top of the engine so I can stay nice and warm in the winter. You know, it's it's going to be beautiful. But first, I got to I got to fix this thing here because uh, the hogger is falling apart. So I got to put a lock nut. So uh, you know, you don't want to have loose nuts out there. All fixed. In case that doesn't work in the winter, I have a horse. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey, I mean, it's a piece of cake, folks. You know, when you know how to do it, it's, you know, you don't have to be afraid. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's a piece of cake. All right. In case the horse doesn't work, I got this thing, folks. This is the latest and greatest in California technology since they're banning fuel and everything there. So what you do is you get in here, you hold on to that. Well, it's still a work in progress, but this is gonna be the latest and greatest thing in the market. Right now I'm gonna use it to carry a fire pit because I gotta make a fire. This sucker is heavy. How you do it. My motorcycle is dead. I think I forgot to put it in travel mode when I left the river and uh, the alarm has been turning on every time the trailer moves but good thing I got this thing at Harley which has got got it has a maintainer and a quick charger thing that I can connect to the batteries over here to the battery so I'm gonna do that charge it up real quick and Take it out to get it all nice and washed because it's filthy and I should open this vent. I don't think I'm going to go through more dirt roads for now. Some change of plans because I was going to go through Mexican hat and I was going to take my time going up to Montana, but I'm now on a ton of time frame because Jerry has some things he needs to do and, um, and I have to get there sooner than I thought. So... I'm just gonna, once I leave here, I'm gonna start traveling towards Montana. And um, I'm just gonna camp overnight here and there and make it up there, spend a couple weeks with Jerry, and then he's gonna do his, his stuff and um, we'll just do it that way. So it is what it is. All right, so this is stupid. This is not long enough to go from my battery to the motorcycle, but I'm gonna ask if I can plug this in and use that that's why i need an inverter over here so i can plug that in so yeah darn it always something <laughs> we cook tomorrow we fix the camper a couple things are broken so we'll do a little bit of that ride the motorcycle it's charging can't do anything with it right now and that's it we're gonna have El Steco in no time you said this is grass fed Angus and you said this is like the best beef you ever had? Very organic, yeah. Very organic. <laughs> oh. yeah, it's actually, mm. it's actually very good. Something special here with Marina. She's gonna have wet food for the first time, folks. Ooh, somebody likes the wet food. Kitty, first time hearing the motorcycle. Okay. 
you're so happy there. Look at you. I know. Come on. Oh, you're so happy. You're so happy. Nice and clean, folks. Look at that. Yeehaw! Does Bill Berger know that you're saying that stuff? Where is he anyway? You know, th that's a union job. Are you a union? <laughs> Katrina gave me some extra of the flatbread pizza that we did. We used coconut flour I believe because she can't have gluten she can't have regular flour uh, it came out okay I liked it but I mean I'm not crazy about the crust the coconut flour it's not not the same as my pizza that's why I didn't do it on my usual stuff but uh, yeah so it came out okay and she also gave me a whole bunch of goodies to take with me I, I didn't want anything but she was very kind give me some food for the road and uh, next time when you see me folks I'll be driving towards Montana going through Utah Idaho and then uh, Montana Landia so that's what's going to happen and um, the reason I came here was uh, we we were talking and uh, she had emailed me and she had mentioned that she had a camper that uh, had a the skylight and a, a cover for the vent were broken some ice came off the roof and broke those things um, and uh, and she was waiting for it to be fixed and the RV dealer w wasn't fixing it so originally I was gonna go through Mexican hat but then you know she wasn't that far from there so I decided you know I'm just gonna stop there a couple days and uh, I'll fix it. it it doesn't take much effort on my part to fix it you know people are kind to me and in return you know I I return the favor so um, I always like to help people whenever I can so I was able to help it wasn't a lot of work and I did that and a couple other little things uh, doesn't matter what it, what it what it is I'm not gonna mention all the little little things I did here and there but some little things I mean not much effort like I said on my part but in the end She's got the roof fixed. She's got a couple other things fixed. And uh, it's no big deal. But more about that next time. For the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the afflicted perish forever. Psalm 9, 18. You want a helmet on? No? No?